and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today in the arena, we're gonna we're gonna make some eggs, and then we're gonna hatch them. It's time to incubate, and we're going to be using the mono white kind of control value shell that many of you recognize with the likes of Ambitious Farmhand. But we're going to surround it with some new cards, some incubate cards, because I think those might be better than what people are doing in Best of Three. If you have watched my videos on the Mono White mid-range control deck in Best of One, or if you've played it yourself, you know that in Best of One, the deck is not nearly as good as it is in Best of Three, because decks like Mono Red and Soldiers can run you over. You can just absolutely get run over on the draw with this particular deck, and playing early cards like Ambitious Farmhand and Spirited Companion and Reckoner Bankbuster don't slow the opponent down enough. You can often have a pretty good-looking curve of, like, Farmhand. Restoration of a Ganjo, Wandering Emperor, like a pretty good curve, and still find yourself completely out of the game very quickly if you're on the draw in best of one. However, this deck tries to solve that by adding bodies to the battlefield while also incubating away some tokens that we can turn into Phyrexians later that can either help continue to defend us or close the game. And playing out the Progenitor Exarch and the Norns Inquisitor threatened to make large creatures very, very quickly. You saw some of this in the Phyrexian Sacrifice video. That's where the wheels kind of got turning. And now I'm trying it out here. Uh, what I love about the Progenitor Exarch in this deck is that it can be used to turn on very large incubation tokens from Sunfall, and it also can be drawn late in the game when we actually have a ton of mana to make a whole bunch of Incubate tokens. So I really think that this is an even better home for this particular Phyrexian Cat Cleric. But don't listen to me talk too much more. You can judge from the game. So let's go play some games. Let's dive in and let the Phyrexian Incubation nonsense begin. Opponent goes first, we have a curve. Starts at two though, might be slow. And look at Mono Red, just showing up to play with some fire. Good for them. Oh no, actually impulse on two is pretty good for us. Uh, let's get an Inquisitor down. Begin the incubation. It's possible it should have been the farmhand to just make sure we never miss a land. Wow, they are recklessly impulsing a lot here. That's really aggressive on the impulses. Anyway, a wedding. No trades though. No trades when we could make a 3-3. Swifty, and another one, and an end the festivities, huh? I guess we should take blocks if we can have them. Nope, they've got their land drop. I was wondering. We go to 12. We do hit the land. So is that an Elish Norn? Good old 3-5. We'd also play two more 1-1s, one -ones, but now we know about the festivities. We'd also Wandering Emperor and get this Squee. Although Squee running into Elish Norn is not ideal for them at all. Let's go for Norn. Start the clock on them. Sunfall isn't very good against Mono Red. It's great against soldiers. It's great against a lot of things. Against Mono Red, it's just all haste and little creatures. So you really have to set it up to be good. Playing it here would probably be a mistake. Uh, yeah, you're gonna pay? Life is a resource. Oh, look, a reckless impulse. <sighs> uh, flawless curve out to five from Mono Red. You love to see it. Yeah? Really? So they probably have a play with fire. I'll just go like this. Take some damage. That clock's gonna start ticking. Yeah. Uh, take some damage. Dealt more to yourself than to me. What a disgrace. We're about to transform wedding announcement. I think we just go face. I'm not that worried about the Chandra.
get them low enough, they won't be able to kill me. Let's hit our land drop. We could Wandering Emperor here. Maybe that would be the big smart play, but I, I don't know. I like this. I'm feeling this. And we'll make a 3-3. Three, three. Actually a 4-4. Four, four. Nope, a 3-3. Three, three. We don't have the Inquisitor on the battlefield. All right, they exiled a mountain. They get nothing, Jon Snow. Oh no, a play with fire. We go to eight. Would you like to pay? Oh, they're paying now, are they? Okay. All right, bye, Mono Red. <laughs> nice try. <sighs> we laugh at you. We go second. Let's see if that's worth playing. Ooh, I could use one of those. Looks like something along the lines of a mirror. That land is a good thing to see. The Lauren might be really nice. And of course, having a bank buster in hand is nice. Just kidding. This is worth another plus one, plus one on our incubator, so. No weddings. Lauren of the third path is opposed to weddings. Okay. A pupper. A bank. I got that. Long game approaching. Opponent probably runs more bank busters than me, but I probably have more sunfalls than them. Also be interesting if we can flip Elish Norn. How much enchantment hate they actually run is, you know, negligible. Some run a lot, some don't. Has to end. Okay, pass to this trigger. So uh, we could make the token here. I'm just gonna draw instead. Don't miss land. Beautiful. Beautiful. Make a 3 3 attack with it. They crew bank buster. I can lay down on arms the bank buster. Is that a good play? Is that worth trading a 3 3 for? Don't think so. I think I just keep drawing. If I'm going to do that, I may as well wait. This could take a while. Do we try to mill out and activate Lauren? Tempting. We kind of, okay, so our long game probably does involve getting them to extend and casting big sunfalls that they really don't like. Move to end step. Yep. They're not drawing from their wedding. Wondering Emperor. Let's do it. Let's both draw. I think our long game can involve this. But do we power up our token? I also don't know how many farewells they run. Meow. I have a plan. Maybe I don't. I'm not sure. Take it? Okay. Fine with me. <laughs> I like this. Um, don't want to play Elish Nor until we can flip it. I think that's the plan. Could play an Inquisitor here, but no, let's not. Uh, let's save some things we can play next turn and just do nothing. I mean, they don't have anything to get back. I thought they would at least do something like block with the companion. No, they're gonna ossificate, okay. Sure, you got it.
Yep, more Resto Iganjo. End step. All right, we draw. Do we bring out a Wandering Emperor? It might just get blown up. If we're going to flip Norn. Because I don't think they run much instant speed removal, so I think we can do it. So yeah, we'll just let this happen. Yeah, I don't believe they have instant speed removal. I am curious if they have enchantment removal. That could be a punish, but in the meantime, we get some tokens. And they are ready for action. Trigger, trigger. What you got? Oh no, more ossification. Anything with that. I mean, I'm I, I'm fine with that. Maybe they're afraid of farewell, so they're using their ossifications this way, but feels like feels like other targets might eventually arrive. We'll see. You wanna swing? You want some? Come get some. Everybody? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's think. I think I just block with everything and then Sunfall. The other option is that the opponent's just going to farewell anyway, so yeah, that, that's what's going on. So we'll just uh, make our chumpers. One, two, three, four. Yep, okay. Okay, they're not going to farewell, that's fine too. I have Sunfall. I mean, that's a weird play because they could have just transformed it. Yep, this is all fine. Now next turn we blow everything up anyway, but this is just, uh, very gratifying. Raw! So, destroys everything except for artifacts and Phyrexians. Artifacts, lands, Phyrexians. So this is good. Good play. Now please, play some fodder for me. I wonder if we flip... Yeah, maybe we transform Elish Norn again next turn. Again, they probably don't have much sorcery speed removal. Okay, that's going to get blown up. I hope you're ready to move. Cool. You're done. Opponent with a little draw too. That's going to get blown up, but I guess they're hitting their land drop. But they gave up a treasure to do it, and they stone raid themselves, so I don't know. I don't know if I would do that. Nope, they're not hitting the land drop. They just threw away their farm hand. I'm never done for good. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine. Um, all right, so activate. Nice. Crew. Without a Wandering Emperor available, this is a nice attack. And I'm trying to figure out, I don't have a way to make one more creature, so I have to sacrifice these three, but it would have been nice to have the Inquisitor to give plus one, plus one counters. So I can make one more creature, but I don't have enough mana left over. 
But yeah, let's do this again before they can lay down arms, Elishnorn. They weren't able to get rid of it last time. So there's my creatures. We could play Wedding Announcement, but it would get blown up if Elishnorn makes it to last chapter. So let's not. Well, they found a farewell. That was all they did. Need to draw some of our power stuff. The opponent's drawn a lot more cards than we have. Seal from existence. Gross. Okay. Checking graveyard. They have ossifications and farmhands down there. They seem to love their ossifications, so I expect we'll see more of that. So maybe we don't play Wandering Emperor until after these chapters go off. Because we don't have a good way to remove future ossifications. So we wait. Patience. Hey, I might deck him. I'm not opposed to that. Yep, farm hand. Sunfall fodder. If we can keep them from killing us with a wide board and keep them from killing us with a tall board, they probably can't win. Deep thoughts, I know. I know. Yep, bring them out. Bring them all out. Let's get this Wandering Emperor going. There's gonna be a Sunfall. At least that's my idea. So... Probably don't want too many tokens, and we would love our opponent to overextend and attack into the Emperor. Remember your I'm holding the Sunfall, though, until the Restorations transform. You can see it coming. They've got their own. That's fine. Now done it. They'll probably be able to transform one of these, but then we can use a Ganjo to save our Emperor, I hope. They're doing it. Wow. Keep drawing. Keep on drawing. 24 cards left. Oh, they didn't have an artifact. Hmm. No patience. Let your blade do the talking. Eternal Wanderer, huh? Hmm. Seems good. So this will have summoning sickness, so we can't power it up and attack. But we do get the drop on the opponent's Wandering Emperor. We, must we could play Eternal Wanderer here. Yeah. Let's go. Time to see if we can flip this game around. We can win this together. Sure. Time is up. Artifact or planes creature or planeswalker. Has to be a creature or planeswalker. One card left. It's probably not a great one. Only need two points to hit here.
What you got? Chumps. Dead wandering emperor. Hey. Uh, let's put the counter on the double striker. Good to go through combat and see what survives before distributing our counter if we know we don't want to overextend to the board with the token. Okay. Easy. Opponent says, good game. Just run him out of stuff, man. Easy. If they can't kill you, you're not dead. Hmm. Opponent goes first. Couldn't be me. Skrelv. Goodbye, Skrelv. Slow it down. Slow it down. Can we hit the land drops to stay in the game, though, against Esper and eventually resolve a, th a Sunfall? We'll see. They have a Thalia. It's a real heartbreaker. Hmm. Interesting. The the little bit of tanking there was curious, too. I think I'm going to hold back on the X-Art. Don't Thalia. Don't Thalia. Come on. Rafine. Kind of a pain, but whatever. They're going to protect. So that thing flies. Mm, part of me says I should play the Bank Buster to draw next turn, because if we miss a land drop, we're going to lose. Okay, that's what we'll do. Feels bad, though. The Exarch doesn't really do anything, because they're going to hold back the Skrell. No Plaza yet. This card, Path of Peril. Jeez, somebody plays too much best of one. All right. Uh, we got Thalia, so now we're in a ton of trouble. So I guess we're drawing to try to hit land drops, or we could Wedding Announcement to try to block Thalia. Um, yeah, we need to stay alive, and we need to hit land. Both are important. I'm just going to try drawing first, and then decide whether or not to drop an Exarch to Chump. We do hit the land. Yeah, let's just chump. If we live long enough, we might be able to come back from this. It does depend if they have Urtai. Or some other counter spell. Maybe they just play some stupid Make Disappear card in their Thalia deck. You never know. They run Path Apparel, so... They are already violating rules of good deck building. But I'll just take blocks where I can get them. Anything I can do to make the game last longer. And they do nothing. Probably just drawing with Bankbuster. If we're going to do that, we may as well do it first. Again, Skrelv is going to protect from anything cool here. And we get the farmhand, so that is a land and another chump block, potentially. What we've got going for us is they're just not applying that much pressure. I guess that's what happens when you have Path of Peril in your aggro deck. Connive, connive. Thalia and an Iganjo gone. Still just trying to keep the life total high. And there's a Denik. And there's enough mana open for a Make Disappear. I don't believe it, but let's find out. Nice. They bounce their own Rafine and lose the rest. And that will probably be game. But let's let's see. Before we count our chickens. Let's get Rafine off the battlefield. Okay. Congrats on your Brutal Cathar, and thank you for revealing that to me so I don't accidentally put a token or something on the board right now that the Brutal Cathar could hit. I will just pass instead. I appreciate you, opponent. Makes everything so much easier. All right, let's draw. And let's Emperor. Protect 
Get him. What's up? I've really wanted to play this card, uh, but I think, yeah, let's go for the wedding announcement and then just do this twice. I, but I was really tempted, though, to play the Axark for like three because I've never done that before. But uh, wedding announcement ticking feels good. The other brutal Cathar. Yep, you got it. Yep, that's fine. I was really hoping to draw something to make these bigger, but this is fine. Let's be aggressive. How you doing? Down to three. Love to see it. May your blade strike true. How about another kitty? Shieldred. A little late to the party. Oh no, two damage. Not like this. Give him the business. Could have used the Progenitor Exarch to activate that, but we're just going in. Remember your training. Yep. Get him. And then they were beaten to death by a bunch of Phyrexian hatchlings. Yeah. We go second. This is mono red. Check for play with fire. No play with fire. Let's get something on the board. The lightning struck the one two. Furnace Punisher, nice. The I, I have basics, so are we cool? Let's get the wedding announcement going. I know we can't block the Menacey Furnish Punisher, but the idea of using my turn three to play a one mana card is gross to me. Two of them. Okay. I mean, this is a, this is, this isn't a choice. It's a lifestyle. All right. <laughs> Let's go with ambitious farmhand and go get the planes. So we have the sunfall next turn and pass the turn. I mean, block one of the punishers. Swifty. Look at him go, turning them sideways. This might be a case where it's actually really good to play a uh, Sunfall. Against Mono Red, they're usually not nearly this good. Raw. And we get a creature. So we're not undefended from haste. Thank goodness. <laughs> Out of there. So, could use Emperor. I like this. Let's get a whole bunch of incubation lined up. Sweet! Ooh, I love this. I love this so much. Let's power up the big one. Oh yeah, baby, five, five. What you gonna do? Zap? I mean, are we gonna stand for that? Yeah, it's fine. We could save it, but nah. 
All right, Mono Red. <laughs> what are you going to do now? The incubator tokens are kind of surprisingly decent against Mono Red. Oh no. Oh no. Whatever will we do? It's like they don't know what this does. <laughs> this is Mono Red. They go first. I don't think I've gone first today. I have to check the tape. All right. Uh, will we play the one two? If I see a mountain, we play the one two. Plaza. Skrell. Um, the one two probably doesn't matter. Ta da! Nothing but planes off the top. You love to see that. On the draw against Bill Murray. I'd let Bill Murray go first. Gala greeters? Hi. I think we just try to slow this down. Gala greeters can be too explosive and we're on the draw, so casting Sunfall is not a given. Getting to five lands doesn't always happen. Broker's Ascendancy, that's going to be a fun one. But will we draw land? Or farm hands? Or Resto of Iganjo? Just, you know, we're basically a 27 land deck. And I feel like I miss my uh, fourth land drop all the time. But we got there. We got there. All right. We could Inquisitor or play Norn. The Sunfall is so interesting. I think I want to play Norn when I can transform Norn. This, the Broker's Ascendancies, a lot's going to depend on whether or not we're playing against a deck that plays Planeswalkers. If so, we're going to need to swarm them, making our Sunfalls bad. But if it's a Tokens deck, like this, our Sunfalls suddenly become pretty good. So, make this into a 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. There's the land. There's the land. We could get a draw off our announcement. We could play Elish Norn. We could wait for more tokens. If they don't deal with the Elish Norn, I think that that is the best thing because chapter three of Elish Norn blows up Broker's Ascendancy. So that's the best thing that could happen here. I also do want the card draw. Okay, maybe they play sweepers. Would you like to pay? They have paid. We got the progenitor. I really am half expecting from their play here for them to play farewell or something, but now it's Elspeth. Okay, they are a planeswalker deck. I won't let a few thugs threaten this. May your peace. They'll get a permanent three or less. They get a brutal Cathar. Well, Sunfall likes this. Okay. Can't kill the Elishnorn. In fact, or Elishnorn, Elspeth. Elspeth versus Elishnorn is going to be a flavorful battle, but this is going to be a struggle. Do I play the Exarch? If I do, I'm a creature away from transformation. I also need to attack this Elspeth, so I guess so. Do they have more tokens? Please have no more tokens. Gross. Very gross. Please play another Brutal Cathar, or hit a Brutal Cathar with your Elspeth for me. Come on, Brutal Cathar. I'll be your shield. Come on, Brutal Cathar. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Um, can I transform this Elish Norn? Yes, I can. Big draw. Crash in with a 5-5. Five five. This will get blocked, maybe double blocked. Should we get rid of the specialist? Yeah. Uh-huh. Gotta get those brokers ascendancies. Also gotta get rid of the Elspeth before it ultimates. Do they top deck or with their Elspeth maybe find a way to get rid of the Ardent Etchings? They're also going to get back a Gala Greeters because of Ossification getting blown up. That's why it's a one of in the deck is because of situations like this. But if we get rid of the Broker's Ascendancies, I'm not as afraid of one Gala Greeters this late in the game. Minus three for Spirited Companion. Okay. Land. What you got? I mean, if you attack me, I'm coming back with double strike. Yeah, those are big. If we do this, they could just not block, but then they lose Elspeth, and then I could Sunfall. But people defend their Planeswalkers to the last breath. Ah! Maybe. Maybe not. Okay then. Fall back. Good game. Did you draw a way to get deal with it? Nope. <laughs> Broker's ascendancy is destroyed. We go first. We're going to Inquisitor. Hopefully we don't miss land drops as our punishment for going first. Yay, we drew one. We need to draw two more. But the Inquisitor is on the scene. Uh-oh, another mirror type match? Gross. Definitely need to draw lands. Yay, getting lucky. I like getting lucky. Do not trade the Inquisitor when we are about to transform some incubation stations. Siege Veteran with Farmhand? Interesting. Whoa, that's aggressive. Another one? I'm doing it. What you up to? I transformed the one with Summoning Sickness. I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, the opponent is actually a white aggro deck that runs farmhand. Good to know. I have a simple strategy. Get him. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. They will block, double block probably. Lay down arms. These are two twos. They can't block anything. It's interesting. What you got? It's only 10. Okay. Out. I'll give you three life. I, their deck is a mystery to me. An absolute mystery. Want to attack? Maybe? A little? All right. Um, hmm. I'm gonna just, let, let's chill. Let's chill on incubation station and just uh, send these, this 10 damage your way. Okay. I mean, this isn't getting them back into it, so we can just sit on this wandering emperor. Let's 
Kill Seraph. Okay. Yes. What ability shall you gain? Life link. <laughs> what you doing? For hurting my people. Very powerful, yes. Show them how we greet our enemies. It looks grim for you. Calculated lethal. I I don't know what was going on over there, but we take those dubs. Go first. Yes. Yes. We're rolling now. More white versus white stuff. Already in a new banalia. Okay. So we're threatening a 3-3, three, three, so let's pass. <laughs> Opponent checking in on the incubator. The, our little incubation token. Going in for both. Okay. Let's see if they are prepared for this. Possible they didn't read the Inquisitor and thought it was a draft card. Got him. Ah, well, the, that still got him. They definitely should have done that first. Interesting seeing Lauren next to a guardian of New Banalia, though. I think we'll just get, well, there's a few ways we could play this. With the Sunfall, I think we just play the Bankbuster. Because we can exile that guardian of New Banalia in a minute. Let's get the cards rolling. Oh no, it's Skrelv! And an adversary! Guys! They're committing to the board! It's like they're an aggro deck or something. Let's see what they... I, I bet it's top top. Oh, two bottom, uh oh. Uh-oh, we have an advanced scryer. Progenitor Exarch's always fun, but it's time for Sunfall. Exile, baby. And that is why Sunfall is the best board wipe in Standard. Vindicator. Hopefully they don't have a way to give it Vigilance. Dealing damage to it, bad. Exiling it, fine. But if it has Vigilance, they'll get around the Wandering Emperor. Eh? They've got something. Um... Interesting. In response, I will kill it. I think they should have waited for the Emperor's ability to go on the stack, right? Let me read that again. If damage would be dealt to it, prevent it, and it deals that much to any other target. Yeah, they just wait for the Wandering Emperor ability to go on the stack, then do that, and they can at least kill the Wandering Emperor. Anyway. Let's get aggressive. That's game. Moving on up. 
And we are back for a quick post game wrap. And I like this version of the deck. I like the incubate mechanic. I like Sunfall. I like Progenitor Exart and the value from Norn's Inquisitor. I feel like this deck does a better job closing games than the other white deck often did. It usually relied on something large, like an AO the Dawn Sky, uh, something of that nature. But where this has the, where those cards are very exciting, they are very expensive. And in best of one, expensive cards often get you killed, especially if you miss a land drop. But in this deck, Norn's Inquisitor comes down very early and can do some chump blocking, and activating an incubator token isn't too expensive. Later in the game, they just power up at the right time to swing over and take care of the opponent. Elish Norn's incubation ability is also really good in this deck, because unlike the other version, we're very good at having a ton of fodder, whereas the other version often just ran out of stuff to flip your Elish Norn with. So I really like this version. I think people should try it more. Is it 100% better? Probably not in best of three, but in best of one, I think getting stuff on the board quickly has a much higher upside than in best of three. So I like this better. I, I like incubation better for best of one. I hope that you will try it as well. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next one. You're cool.